Hello everybody, this is JT Productions and I'm back with another preview and prediction video. Today I'll be doing the Stanford Cardinal. Did you know that the mascot, the Stanford Cardinal, is just because the only reason that it's called the Cardinal is because that's the color of their jersey. And that's why their mascot is a tree. It's very lazy of them. Anyways, Stanford, very mediocre team. They did get that big upset last year over... Oregon, however, that's probably the best thing they did last year. And they beat USC, that's about it. But, this year, uh, we'll see how it goes. So, let's see what my notes say about Stanford. Stanford, they're a very underachieving team, as we can tell. 22 in recruiting over the last five years, second in the Pac-12. Even with all the talent they have, they've been very underachieving. The last time they were good, I would say, would probably be in 2015 with Christian McCaffrey. So, there you go. David Shaw, their head coach, is going into his 12th season. He seems to have been in a slump of uh, coaching and records and all that sort of stuff. They got one key transfer in that safety Pat Fields from Oklahoma. He'll be a good little difference maker for them. But... They they have Tanner Mackey, but it always seems that ever since Christian McCaffrey left, they always have this one good player like Bryce Love, um, Davis Mills, and now Tanner Mackey. They have this one good player, and the team sucks. That's just how it is. Team sucks, and they can't really have any good things happen to them. So, with that being said, let's go to the schedule and see how they fare. Week one, they play something called Colgate. They'll win that game, surprisingly. Then week two, they get a rematch against USC. USC gets to come to Stanford, to the farm, I think it's called, and try to get a rematch, and they will. Their offense is going to be freaking amazing. So, one and one. Then you have a bye week in week three for some reason. Then you go on the road to Washington, and you get a win. Happy days, happy days. You get a win. Tanner Mackey pretty much uh, puts his team on the back for this one and gets a win over the lowly offensive machine that is Washington. Now they are improving. I get it. So, anyways, next at Oregon. This is going to be a loss. Oregon at home. Bo Nix is a very good player at home, and he'll be that way, I believe, at Oregon as well. So, it's another loss. You're 2-2. Two two. Then you play Oregon State, and this is going to be another loss. They're going to be more physical than you are. So, I think that's another loss. So, you're 2-3, and three, then you're at Notre Dame. Another loss. They're 10 times better than you are. I get upsets happen, but not like this. 2-4. and four. Then you play Arizona State, and I think you get an upset win here. Arizona State this is going to come down to turnovers. They have Emory Jones. Either Emory Jones or uh, that transfer from Alabama. I forget his name. But it's going to come down to the turnover battle. And if I have to pick, I'm going to pick you to beat them. Because Emory Jones, he'll throw for three touchdowns and then four interceptions in a game. So, that's just how I feel. So, that's three wins and four losses. You're three and four. Then you go on the road to UCLA. Another loss. UCLA, they're going to be a lot improved from last year, and with that, they're going to beat you. 3-5. and five. Then you play Washington State. Another loss. They're going to be very much improved. Another loss. 3-6. and six. Then you're at Utah, one of the best teams in the Pac-12. Another loss. 3-7. and seven. Then you're on the road at California. Another loss. They're going to be better than you this year, but it's, I think it'll be a close game, but they're going to be better than you. It always is with Cal Stanford. So, you finish the season with a non-con game against BYU. You're going to lose. BYU, Jaron Hall is a beast. And they're going to come into your house and get a big win. So there you have it. Stanford underachieves once again. I could see David Shaw either being fired or on the hot seat at this point. And you go 3-9 and nine to end the season. Same as last year, so thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. 
if you disagree with anything I've said in this video, let me know in the comments, and I'll, I guess, argue with you, and we'll try to keep it civil. So, I hope you all enjoyed, and go dogs.